What's up guys? Thank you for taking time to watch this video. This is a very, very exciting video. Uh, I had waited quite a while to get my Ultra Prism booster box. I finally got it. Just bought it at my local card shop. I also bought the uh, Ultra Prism Mock Strike theme deck, mainly because I wanted to uh, build this Garchomp deck as my main deck going forward. And it comes with pretty much everything I would essentially need or at least I'm guaranteed to get certain cards, like let's say Cynthia and Garchomp. Uh, even though it's only just a few of them, I like the feeling of having it guaranteed instead of just kind of gambling on the booster packs from this box alone. Um, now, man, it's just so much going on because I had a really rough day, which is why I came straight here and I, I just needed, needed, needed to buy these Pokemon packs to kind of cheer me up and I think I'm gonna open up this theme deck because I kind of want to see it. Never, I haven't bought a theme deck in a long time, actually. I don't remember the last time I ever bought a theme deck. Uh, I know you guys are really just more excited for the, for the booster box, but you gotta, gotta work with me here, all right? Work with me here, just a little bit. See, there's the Garchomp Hollow. Really awesome card. Does 200 damage as long as you play a Cynthia on the turn that you are attacking. And that's kind of the whole idea uh, because if you play it with the, now shuffling through all the cards, I'm not gonna show you every single one of these. Uh, I don't wanna make this into a super long video and I know a lot of you guys are probably getting tired of the whole car scene too, which I'll explain in just a second. Um, Cynthia, like I said, guaranteed. I saw a lot of other booster box openings. Not a lot of people are pulling that many Cynthia's needed, maybe two, three tops. I need four. Um, I have two in this theme deck, so that's guaranteed at least those two. I'm hoping to get the other two in the booster box, but the other card I was also hoping to get guaranteed is this Lucaria. Now, I essentially want at least two. I want to play a 3-3 three, three line of this guy, but I wanted at least two. Um, the Lucario lets you search any card in your deck as long as you have the Garchomp out in play. Uh, that's almost a broken card. Just almost, almost, almost a broken card because it's way better than Ultra Ball, way better than Computer Search. I don't have to discard anything. I just have to have a Pokemon in play and boom, there I go off to the deck and searching for whatever I need at that moment. Uh, oh, comes with a cool little Garchomp coin. I forgot. There's so much stuff in this in these theme decks now. I just, I don't know. I gotta look at all that stuff later. Anyway, on to the main event. We are going to open up the booster box. Now I know this is not the ideal setting for a booster box. I know you guys have watched one of my other videos um, where I opened up a Crimson Invasion pack, one single pack uh, on a table. It was at my house, but there's a lot of reasons why I do the car scene. Uh, mainly because I don't have a lot of space at home and I do have a family. If you haven't noticed the car seat in the back, yes, I do have a daughter. And when she sees these cards, she goes all crazy. She's crazy about Pokemon 2 at the moment. So she'll like grab the cards out of my hand and just start playing around with them. And if I pull something really, really nice, like a full art secret or something, that's not gonna make me too happy. So uh, I do the car scene a lot of times because of that. Plus it's just easier for me uh, to record videos, uh, at least time management wise. Uh, I am trying to figure out a good time to, you know, be at home to open up these packs and everything, but right now it's just very complicated with my work schedule and things like that. But anyway, I can get into a whole, whole video just about that, but I really, really want to open this booster box. I was going to wait till Sunday to open this up, but I just, I just can't. I need to know what I got. I need to know if I pulled, pulled it right. Uh, the customer or, or the not the customer the staff member over at my local card shop uh, picked this box said that this was a special one that I'm gonna pull what I needed and I would really love a full art Cynthia I think that's what everyone's striving for the full art Cynthia or the gold cards the gold Lunala gold Sogaleo anyway um, man there's just I just don't know where to begin I just I think I'm just gonna dig right through it there's 36 booster packs I had it all in my head. I was like, oh, I'm gonna divide them up by, you know, how many Leafeon arts, uh, how many uh, Giratina arts, but you know what? I say, forget it. Let's just do it. All right, going with the first one. Oof. 
This is exciting. Here, all the pull rates are really, really good. All right. Um, uh, I don't know how I want to go about this because I don't want to make this into a super long video. So, you know, we're going to try to go through this as fast as we can. I'll make probably another video. If I actually get to pull all the cards that I need, like a couple more Cynthia's, a Lucario, and uh, another Garchomp, I'll actually probably make a deck profile of the of the one I want. Now, I usually do the star card, star card of the pack, sorry. Just like I said, I'm, I'm all over the place. All over the place. And this is the star card of the pack, the Luxio. Basically, it's an item lock. Uh, it does 30 damage, but your opponent can't play any item cards from their hand during their next turn. That is obviously really, really good. Something that a lot of people need to keep an eye out for, because uh, I know that Luxio, or at least the, uh, the Luxray is becoming an archetype uh, in the meta. So, <clears throat> something to watch out for. Alright, trying to put the code cards off to the side. Again, not trying to make this super, super long, so trying to, you know bust through this let's see Luxio Eevee Magmar uh, I can't see any other side more low Piplup oh such cute oh wait oh that's a reverse world sound it oh reverse Magnezone nice uh, if I ever want to make a metal deck I'm gonna need this Magnezone oh I'm so excited okay and my uh, hollow rare is a Heatran very good uh, actually it's a very nice metal tech in a lot of decks star card it's gonna be Magnezone mainly for its ability get to attach as many metal energies as I want from my hand onto any of my Pokemon. It's going to become really nice in hand, especially when a lot of the metal Pokemon are going to have to discard their attacks, like for the Ultra Necrozma, the Duskmane, Duskmane Necrozma. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what else we got. So, Fighting, Cherum, Gumshoes, Shield on, Crogonk, Eevee, very hard to see from this angle. Uh, Alolan Vulpix, Alolan Diglett, Shinx, ooh, Reverse Riolu, and a, 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 a Raquanid? A Raquanid, yes. Star card of the pack is going to go to Shinx, actually. It's got a pretty nice ability. If you're going second, and it's on your first, so your first turn, you chose to go second, you actually get to evolve him straight right up to that, to that Shinx and start item locking, which is kind of... I wouldn't say broken. I know I already used that word, and it's like, oh, you're just saying everything's broken. No, no, no. Um, it's it's just it's a really good trick. It's a it's a nice little you know ability to just go ahead and start just hacking away at your opponent and be able to prevent them from planning items. Sorry, I'm trying to actually get all the code cards organized. Don't want everything collapsing. I'm just gonna have to organize all this later. All right, now. So far, we haven't pulled anything too, too crazy. Magnezone's probably like the best one so far. Ranguru, Driftblim. Oh, Palpad. Actually, I need a couple of these in my Garchomp deck. Riolu, Gibble. Oh, this is the ability Gibble. Sweet. This is the one that has any fighting energy. It's got free retreat. That might actually be the start card of this pack. Uh, what is this one? Oh, the Kranidos and the Electivire. Yep, you're gonna have to give it to the Gibble. Just because of that ability, free retreat is always, always, always a positive thing. Definitely nice pull. Actually, I wonder if my theme deck comes with that gibble. Oh, I didn't even check that. I probably should have. All right. Well, let's see. Uh, code card. Still haven't pulled anything too crazy. This doesn't look good for me. Spirit Tomb, Olin Dug Trio, uh, the Ancient. Ancient Crystal, Chimchar, uh, Parmis, Parps, Parp, for the whatever, Carnivine. I'm just, like I said, my mind's all over the place. Uh, reverse the Omega, and our rare is a Type Null. Um, huh. Star card, I think I'm going to give it up to, you know what? A Lolan Duck Trio. Did I do this in the other, in the other video? I think I did, where I said a Lolan Duck Trio. 30 times any amount of metal energy you discard from your hand. Actually, it's kind of a cool attack. Very hard to pull off, especially if you're gonna keep doing it consistently. It might be uh, something I want to test out later, but it's it's pretty good. It's awesome, actually. You know, you you discard four and poof, there you go, 120. And it doesn't cost any energy technically to attack. You, it's free 
but you technically also have to discard energy, so it's not free. I don't know how that works. Anyway, water, escape board, cherum, magneton, good. Weasel, Eevee, Salandit, uh, Turtwig. Ooh, I see something shiny on the corner there. Riolu. Oh boy, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? <gasps> Ooh, nice. A Leafeon GX. Uh, very, a lot of people are very hyped for this card, uh, mainly because the GX attack lets you evolve any, or actually all of your basic Pokemon that are on your bench straight up to their next, you know, evolution stage. <clears throat> so it's definitely a very nice turn one uh, if you're going second so that way you can kind of get your evolutions rolling so i know a lot of people are going to be experimenting with that i'm actually really excited to see what people uh, decide to do with it i know there's the decidui combo <clears throat> you could do or you could do the lorantis promo where you then you can just increase the attack of your leafeon gx so star card obviously goes to that leafeon dark manaphy New Lily Art, I'm liking it. Magneton, good again. Piplup, Salandit, Execute, Yanma, Driftblim, Mount Coronet, very nice. Let's you just uh, get two metal energy from your discard to your hand. And Torterra, all right, not bad. Star card, Mount Coronet, very good stadium. <clears throat> Probably gonna see quite a bit of play. Uh, with the Magnazone, yeah, my, my bad, losing already. With the Magnazone and any sort of metal deck in general. So, very nice pool. All right, <clears throat> so, so far, again, nothing too wild. Faulkner, Kranidos, Alolan Dug Trio, Shinx, uh, Dewpider, Gibble, but not the ability Gibble. Look at Licky, Heatran, and Heat Rotom. I actually want to collect all the Rotoms, just for fun. In my Pokedex Binder, why not? Star card goes to Heatran. Uh, it's a nice little metal tech, three energy, do 130. Basically one shots Gardevoir GX, which is very necessary, um, just in case people continue to play Gardevoir in the meta. But <clears throat> it's not too bad. You do have to discard the energy, which is kind of like why he's a, he's a tech. He's just kind of like a one, two time use kind of card. Krenados, Ranguru, Missing Clover, Driftblim, Morlol, Cosmog, Execute, questioning my Morlol there, Licky Licky, and Turtwig, and Garchomp, sweet! All right, so now I have four Garchomps. It'd be pretty nice if I uh, pull reverse foils of them, but Star Card goes to the Garchomp again for that 200 damage they can do as long as you play the Cynthia on that turn. I am very upset though now that i'm thinking about all these packs i'm opening i have yet to pull because if you include my i'm just i don't know why i just showed that i guess because i'm really happy that i'm going to probably get something good at least a hollow rare um anyway out of the 12 packs i pulled from the pre-release i haven't pulled a single prism card and i still have yet to pull a single prism card and the set is called ultra prism so i'm a little frustrated about this carnivine sneasel eevee Magmar, Molo, Look at Lick a Tongue, and our rares Infernape. Not too shabby, actually. Star card's gonna go to this Infernape here because when you burn an opponent, you actually get to put six damage counters instead of two. So, nothing to complain about on that one. It is a stage two, but a lot of good cards these days are stage twos. Three, four. <clears throat> Again, not looking too good. Uh, Priplup, Pokemon Fan Club, Electabuzz, Cherim, Glammeow, Snover, Hippodon. Ooh, Reverse Luxray. Star card's going to this one. Uh, Magirna. I didn't even have to... Yeah, this, this Luxray is pretty good. Um, I think it reduces damage, so as long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's... Uh, your active Pokemon's opponent to do 30 less damage, so... If it's got 150, essentially it's got 180 HP. So that's actually pretty sweet. All right, we're kind of almost halfway and we have yet to pull anything really good. Really, really good. I mean, the Leafy, Leafy on GX is good, but I want something amazing. Gardenia, I mean, I did spend quite a bit of money on this box. Magnemite, all right. That might be my star card there. 
Glad me out. Hey, prism card, our first one. Where's the horn? Do, 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 do. I don't know how to do this, I'm sorry. Prism card though, all right, sweet. It's the Lunala prism card. Um, first, let's see, okay, so we have Licky Licky. I know I kept saying Licky Ton was Licky Licky. I don't know, it's Licky Licky everything. Um, but this is pretty sweet. Uh, so if you don't know what Lunala does, for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play, attach a Psychic Energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon any way you like. Uh, it's a pretty sweet attack. The Psy Storm one is actually pretty good too. Uh, I believe it's very similar, if not the exact same attack that the, um, what is it, the Delphox had in Fates Collide, where it does more energy, or does more attack when there's more energy in play. Uh, yeah, this one does 20 damage times all the energy that's in play. So, pretty sweet. Our first Prism card. About time because i was getting worried that if i was never gonna pull a, a prison card in an ultra prison box i don't know i would have asked for my money back i guess all right so let's see what else we got fairy rotom drift Blo drift drift bloom drift drift blam man i am forgetting my pokemon gabby again i mentioned in another video that if i don't know the Pokemon right away like the name wise or like I don't say it right it's because that generation I just haven't heavily played um, and I don't really you know attach myself to that Pokemon quite a bit uh, the star card of this pack would have to be probably the Gabite not just because of the, the whole guard jump thing um, the Ascension is pretty nice so if you have to attack uh, you could just evolve this straight into a guard chomp with that attack um, not ideal obviously you would love to try to evolve without wasting an attack but hey if you're in a tight bind you might as well all right so i keep looking at the the code cards thinking like okay what did i get but it's been mostly green so i'm not i'm not a huge huge fan of what's going on here bronzon young goose rosalia oh carna or church wig uh oh Hey, it's the uh, it's the, the ability one, and curl gunk. Um, star card would actually probably go to. You know, what? it's gonna have to go to the gibble, not just because of the ability again, but it's reverse, and that's gonna look really good in my deck. So, yeah, and plus I get to pick. So, no one cares about your opinion. I'm I'm lying. Don't take me seriously, please. Your opinion matters. If whoever's watching this, your opinion matters. All right, let's see. Psychic, Grotal, Progly, uh, the Unit Energies, Cherum, Veneri, the Hippo, the Monkey, the Non-Ability Shinx, the Shaman, and then the Morlul. Star card actually is gonna go to Unit Energy. This is kind of interesting. I feel like these are going to be more handy later on as we get a couple more expansions but essentially this acts as any sort of steel or lightning or psychic energy. Um, and I wanna say that it's going to encourage a little bit more of the um, like mo uh, multi-color decks, Not, no longer like mono decks, like, oh, you just have like Gardevoir GX mainly for attacking, that's it. I mean, yeah, you had the Gallade, but there's not a lot of decks that rely on attackers of multiple types. I think that's the right way of saying it. <clears throat> so hopefully that will increase that uh, that kind of creativity uh, to occur. The ability shanks, Dewpider, Gibble, Looker, and Frost Rotom. Uh, going back to the shanks again, just because of that ability, uh, the evolutionary advantage. All right. Okay, come on. I want like a full art. I want more prism cards. I mean, is that really asking for a whole lot? I want to. I haven't even pulled a Cynthia. Not a single Cynthia. Steel, Cosmium, uh, whatever that Bronzon type was. Fire Memory. I know people are gonna watch this like, you don't know Pokemon. You don't know anything. I I just told you I don't. If I don't play that generation that much, I won't likely remember how to pronounce the name. Um. You know what, Star Card's gonna have to go to the Fire Memory, because again, it 
if you listen to one of my other videos, I talked about Savali and how it's very versatile, and that makes Savali a fire type. So if you need a fire type in your deck, play Savali, attach the fire memory, and boom, you are off to the races. All right, water, electric, talking about Savali, Mount Coronet, Young Goose, Magmar, Blow and Diglett, Sneasel, skipping cards here, Magnemite, Araquanid, and Alolan Executor. Star card's gonna have to go to the electric memory this time. Again, same reason, but it's electric type instead of uh, fire. Now, I went through half of the box, and all I've gotten was a Leafeon GX and a Lunala Prism card. There's something wrong here. I pulled a couple of nice rare ones, like the Luxray and the Magnezone, sure, and the Heatran, I guess. But where are my full hearts? At least one hyper rare, maybe a secret rare. I need something here, guys. I need substance. <sighs> Was this just a bad box? I hope not. I hope not. Weasel, Skunk Tank. Ah, Cynthia. That might have to be the star card. You will never know. Cosmog, Turtwig, Electivire, Cheruby, Glammeow, Ancient Crystal, and Alolan Sandslash. Cynthia. All right, now I have three Cynthias. Good, I just need one more. But where are my Ultra Rares? I want ultra rares this is not looking to be a good box at all mm -mm. this is why i don't buy boxes because it's just a huge gamble you spend so much money and then you barely pull anything uh hey ability give i'm getting a lot of those now chimchar i think we know who the star card is it's the ability gibble come on who doesn't love a little dragon all right so uh-oh Man down. We lost some packs. No, I'm just kidding. I got them. I got them. We're good. Just double checking. Yep, I got them. We're good. All right. Oh, I accidentally looked at some stuff. So we did get a GX. Not a full or anything, but we did get a GX nonetheless. Fighting Mars. I don't know what the GX is, though. I didn't look at it that closely. Like, it slipped just the corner, and I was like, oh, cool. I got something, finally. Piplup, Scorpy, Stunky. Ah, nice. A reverse Garchomp. And then our GX is. All right. It's a Don Wings the Crosma GX. That's uh, one I pulled a pre release. I actually traded that uh, to somebody for. Oh, man. What did I get? I needed stuff for my co my Poke Pokedex Binder collection. So uh, I did get a nice trade out of it. But good that I got a uh, another one. And by another one, I also meant for that online code. So I have another good card, I hope. A uh, hollow rare, if not better. Steel, unit energy, looker, uh, Lolan Vulpix, Stunky, Young Goose, Roselia. Right, was that Roselia? Huh, just kidding, I'm just gonna move on. Um, Turnator and... Oh, oh, oh! Oh, cool. So, obviously, Star Card goes to this because it's just, it's a hyper rare. So, I pulled the full art out of one of my packs that I wanted the pre release. So, now I have the seeker, the hyper rare version of it, the rainbow rare, whatever you guys call it. That's pretty dope. I'm liking that. All right. Whoo. Our luck has changed. All right. Moving on. This pack is actually not an ideal pack, but it's okay. We'll keep moving. Dark, Fossil, Honchcrow, Lopunny, Simeon, Shinx, Executor, Magnemite. Ah, another Prism card. So they're all just hiding on this half of the packs. That's fine. That's fine. What's the other card? Motorotem? Sorry. Star card goes to the Prism, Darkrai. Um, pretty sweet when you play it. Uh, from your hand, it's got to be from your hand, right? From your hand onto the bench, uh, you essentially get to put two darkness energy on it, so it kind of helps out Turbo Darkrai quite a bit. It's a good thing that you 
can't play multiple of those multiple of those otherwise that makes turbo dark y dark dark y dark rye uh super super powerful but there are ways around it i know there's uh, you could probably play Ninja Boy, so if you play uh, the Turbo, or I'm sorry, not Turbo, if you play that Darkrai, uh, put the two energies, Ninja Boy it out, so it goes back in your deck, you can search it out, essentially get another, get that Turbo Dark, or get that Darkrai back, I don't know, I'm just saying Turbo Darkrai for everything, get the Darkrai back, have another two energies, you can essentially keep spamming that, I guess, every turn, um, but it might be kind of tricky to pull off Fire, Ancient Crystal, Spirit Tomb, Rotom, Electivire, Chimchar, Pratrisu, Alolan Sandshrew, Alolan Volpix. That's weird. Uh, Murkrow. Oh, Vestidiodon. This one's actually pretty neat. Uh, and is that the... Is that... Oh, wow. No. Oh. Ah. Um, <laughs> I was like, wait, that's all the cards? Uh, this one's actually probably going to be a star card. Um, the ability is kind of cool if you can fit it into a metal tech. Or a metal tech. A metal deck. It's a metal tech for a metal deck. Uh, prevent all damage done to your steel Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon that have any special energy attached to them. A lot of decks play special energy. So if you manage to get that out, your metal Pokemon are basically, like, invincible. So it'd be kind of cool if you're able to pull that off. But not a lot of people are talking about it. Fairy. Eh, shield on. Let's see what else I got here. Bronze on. Yay, I get I definitely have four of those. Uh Patrisu, Yanma, Alolan Diglett, and another guard chomp. Check that out. Alright. I shouldn't have bought that structured deck now. Oh well. I got the Cynthia's though, actually. That's really what I needed it for. And the Cynthia's are like three or four bucks a piece right now. So just spending an extra couple dollars to get the whole deck and get guaranteed cards is all right by me. All right, so Lightning, Cherum, Gumshoes, uh, Alolan Sandshrew, Hippopotamus, Riolu. Actually, that's the other card I didn't get. Uh, Lucario, Alolan Diglett, Piplup, Volkner Reverse, and... Oh, sweet, Magnezone. Uh, I already did star card for Magnezone. I actually gave the star card this time to Volkner. Volkner is pretty sweet. It's basically a Skyla plus an energy search. So you get to look for one item and an electric or a lightning energy, uh, which is a pretty sweet deal. Uh, so I'm going to give it up for that one, for the Volkner. Not too shabby. So I need one more Lucario and I need one more Cynthia. If I can get one more of each... I will be a happy camper. I won't complain about this box anymore. That's not necessarily true. <sighs> but I need one of each of those. This is actually pretty sweet. So I got the item lock, Luxio, and the uh, ability Gibble. Zelia, another Gibble, and the Salazzle, and the Obama Snow. Uh, star card. Mm just because i am biased i'm gonna give it up for the gibble i'm i don't even have to show it because i've shown it to you too many times all right almost done with the packs uh not ideal again i want more just because i'm a greedy greedy person i just want the <laughs> good card oh two pal pads great i needed two for my deck i'm gonna put two in there in case you don't didn't hear it the first time. I'm gonna put two. Uh, Weasel, Magnemite, Crowagunk, Reverse, uh, Drapion, and a Hollow Rampardos. Uh, star card, I'm actually gonna give it up to the Rampardos. Now, I know fossil Pokemon don't get a whole lot of love, but if you can manage to build a decent deck out of this, this one should should be just as good as any of the other budget decks so it basically has an answer for any pokemon out there the first attack clean hit 60 damage if your opponent's active pokemon is an evolution pokemon which most of them are it does 60 more so for one energy you do 120 and that also ko's a zoroark uh, so that's super good since zoroark is being played in almost every deck uh, definitely very worth it and then three energy wild crash 
if your opponent's active Pokemon is a basic Pokemon, it is just knocked out. Just knocked out. That's it. It's done. That's... It, these are really good attacks. But playing fossils is super, super hard. Now, they changed the way you play fossils this time. Because before, it's like, look at the bottom cards. And if you can find one there, then you can put it on your bench. It was, it was complicated. It was weird. Uh, but... Now they have the item card where the fossil acts as like a basic Pokemon. So it's essentially a bit better, but I just, it's still, I don't think it's all that great. Execute and, oh, sweet. This is actually gonna be my star card. So the Tapu Fini, a lot of, well, I don't know if a lot of people are waiting this. I know this is kind of like a highly anticipated card because of the second attack. Now, Magical Swap, you move any number of damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon to their other Pokemon in any way you like. If you are playing deck that focuses on placing damage counters or just just automatic damage, so like Necrozma, 100 to all GXs and EXs. Uh, Vikavolt, I think does, or is it Noivern that does 60 damage to all Pokemon on the bench. And, um, or Tap Tapu Lele, pro uh, Tapu Coco promo does 20 damage. I mean, essentially you build all this damage around and then you play this guy, well, let me just do my magic and then just put them wherever I want. You base can KO multiple Pokemon that way. It's actually pretty sweet. Uh, I know the Psychic one, I think is the one that people would much prefer, but regardless, I think, it, I think it'll be an interesting deck to try to pull off. So kind of excited about that one. That's actually pretty good. All right, let's see. Fighting, Fold Soul, Lily Art, Magneton, Execute, Yanma, Driftblim, uh, Buizel, Riolu, Reverse, Looker, uh, Looker's Whistle. Wow, I don't know why I just hesitate on that. And then we have the Heat Rotom. Star card, though, is going to have to go to... I'm going to give it up for the... Oh, man, such a hard choice. I think I am going to give it up to... Yep. I'm gonna have to give it up to the Lily card just because the art is actually very beautiful. All right, I am down to my last six packs. I pulled one Hyper Rare, which is great. Two Prism cards, which is one below average because I think people have been pulling three per box. And I pulled one Leafeon GX. Am I forgetting anything? Because I don't think I am. Oh, there's the, the Dawn Wings, the Krosma GX, but guys, I don't think this is the box. We've been getting some nice hollows, sure, but it's been mostly filled with eh, rares, and I don't, I don't know, <laughs> I'm not a fan. I was really hoping for an amazing box because I had amazing pre-release packs, but it's just, it's just not happening. It's not happening. Star card, actually for this one, I'm gonna give it up to the Cherim. Cherim, I think is not seeing a whole lot of consideration just because it is a stage one, it's only got 80, 80 HP and it's a grass Pokemon, but its ability removes all weakness, all weakness from your grass Pokemon. Uh, so, Galissapods actually should, I don't know if you want to kind of cram one in there, but it'll be nice since, you know, in case fire comes back, which it might just because there's a lot of metal Pokemon being played, but we'll see. All right. I looked at the online code, it's green. Hopefully a Cynthia in here, if not a Prism card. Morlol, Magmar, Chimchar. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay, that made this pack totally worth it. Star card has to go to Lucario. Yeah, we're racking it. No, Lucario for that item search. Whoo. Okay. Okay. Four more packs to go, guys. Four more packs to go. This video is way longer than I thought. Sorry. Uh, looks like I pulled something pretty good here. I hope. All right, <clears throat> water, that's a good sign. 
Pranados, Alolan Duck Trio, Escape Board, Eevee, Magmar, Molo, Piplup, uh, Salandit, and ooh, the third prism. Okay, now this box is starting to pick up when it's the last few packs. But we, now we have the prism, uh, Giratina. Same thing as Darkrai, you play it, you put two psychic energy onto it. Pretty good. Same idea though, you can also spam it. Uh, that's pretty sweet. So I have the Lunala, the Giratina, and then the Darkrai now. So I'm just missing the Sogaleo and the Cyrus and the energy one, right? Is that one in the set? Ooh, I can't remember. And our ultra rare, or hollow rare if not better, is... <gasps> oh, yes! Okay, oh, okay. Just totally made this box a heck of a lot better. Not only did I pull both evolutions out of this, but I managed to get at least the Glaceon GX, which if you don't know, uh, the ability shuts off all GX and EX abilities as long as it's any active. But still, it shuts them off. And it can attack 90 damage to the active, 30 to the bench, so you're just kind of chipping away at the active and the bench Pokemon while your opponent can't do anything with their abilities, which means Tapu Lele doesn't work, Zorark GX doesn't work, your Volcanion EX, uh, EXs don't work, um, whatever GX Pokemon, they're deciduous, their, uh, their Feather Arrow, whatever attacks or abilities don't work. So, it really messes up a lot of Pokemon, especially if you play it turn one. Like, you go first, you put the water energy on Eevee and go straight to the Glaceon. You have totally slowed down your opponents at the start of the game. So, this is pretty sweet. This is a pretty sweet pack. Star card's going to have to go to this Glaceon. That is totally worth the box now. Probably not totally worth the entirety of the box, but... I feel a bit better. I didn't get any crazy full arts. I did get the hyper rare, yes. But I wanted at least a trainer full art if possible. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get that, but you know, you win some, you lose you lose some. Glamiel, Drift Blim, Alone Sand True, Hippo blah, 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 Riolu, Weavile, and a fan run. I'm actually gonna give it up to this Weavile. Weavile is pretty sick. This could be a good rogue deck. And I know I'm just like shaking it violently at you. Um, so there's an attack for one darkness energy. Uh, it's called Evil Ad Admonition. That's a weird word. I've never heard of that word before. But it does 50 damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon that has an ability in play. Um, let's see how many ability Pokemon are played. Zorak GX, Tapu Lele, and at least an Orangaru. That's three abilities. It's 150 damage for just one energy that's pretty wild uh i can see a lot of people playing or trying to build a deck out of that card the only problem is low hp it's kind of risky but i think it's worth taking a look into it all right down to our last two packs this one i saw the code card it was green so hopefully at least another prism card that would be pretty sweet volkner Murkrow, Gibble, Dewpider, Stunky, Turtwig, Piplup, <laughs> two starters, Titanol, and oh, actually, that was, oh, I am just blowing through this. Um, I am going to give it up to, I'm just going to give it up to the Piplup. I'm biased. I love water Pokemon. Piplup was actually one of my favorite starters, uh, just because it's just a cute penguin. Look at him. He's just winking at you. And actually, Toys was going to have like a little uh, Toys R Us is going to have a little uh, promo day with this one where you get the Toys R Us promo card of this Piplup. So that would be pretty sweet. All right. The last pack. The last pack. Can I please, 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 please get that last pack magic? I know that phrase has been overused again and again and again and again and again, but I would really love something wild, something crazy out of here. Please give me something to cry about. Oh, done. Worth it. I don't even have to look at the rest of the pack. Got my fourth Cynthia. Thank God I bought that structure deck, that theme deck. Otherwise, I would have just been stuck with two Cynthias and I needed more. Chimchar, Parmesan. Wait, I've got to go back and. Passimian. I keep saying Parmesan. Everyone probably like left after the first time I said Parmesan. Pa Missian, Pa Simeon. Wow. I'm 
going to have to like write his name like 20 times over. Shinx and our very last card is an Empoleon. Not bad. I'll give it up for Empoleon though. He's actually the star card. 20 damage times the number of po uh, Pokemon benched in play. Uh, pretty sweet actually. It's another type, uh, another rogue deck and it's actually the other theme deck um, that a lot of people would probably want to go for. But um, that was it. Uh, my feelings on the box, I'm a little disappointed in it because I saw a lot of these other box openings already, you know, upload on YouTube and I was like, man, they're getting wild and crazy cards. You know, someone pulled, you know, there was a lot of them that pulled like, you know, gold secret rare cards and things like that. And, uh, and no, I didn't even get a full art trainer card. No, this was not a, a crazy good box. I got... What did I get? So I got, and I, I would show them. Normally I could show them or I should show them, but I, it's already put in a box and I just don't want to make too much chaos. Um, but we had the Dawn, Dawn Wings of Krasma, the Leafeon GX, the Glaceon GX, three Prism cards. Um, I mean, as far as Ultra Rare goes, I pretty much think that's it. And I don't even think Prism cards are considered ultra rares i think they're just like uncommons i'm not quite sure where they fall on the line of that but um yeah it's i did get a lot of nice hollows got enough magnezones and garchomps and um got my lucario and i got enough cynthia's but i i kind of wish i got a little bit more and and you could say i'm being greedy but i I think I can safely say that that wasn't the best box uh, that I probably could have pulled. Um, will I buy another box? Most likely not. Uh, I don't really buy boxes. I only did it because um, I was really excited for the set and I kind of wanted to open something big for um, one for my channel. So that's why I bought it, mainly for you guys. So that way at least you have more to watch, more to look at uh, than just a single pack opening. But I think I'm gonna go back to just my single pack openings and and stick with that for a while and uh, do maybe maybe that'll be my thing. I'm the single pack opener guy for what you know on the scene in the car. I don't know maybe if you guys like it, let me know. I can, I'm gonna continue doing it anyway. I'll eventually have like a little table set up and everything and and I do want to start uh, TCGO um, like deck profiling like a, a lot of other. Uh, you know, Poketubers do already, you know, I kind of want to give my input in a little bit um, and, you know, eventually collaborate with hopefully the rest of them, Yellow Swallow, Dark Integral, um, Leonhart, uh, Super Duper Danny. I mean, I watch these guys. I'm pretty sure you guys do too, uh, most of you, you know, and whoever else I'm forgetting, there's Shadow Force, there's Zapdos, TCG, I think. Uh, there's there's a whole bunch and, and I just, I love the spirit. I love the the excitement that they bring into Pokemon and and I want to be able to share that too I want to I want to grow help grow the Pokemon community to a huge huge scale so it's gonna be baby steps for me but I'm I'm really hoping that I can bring something to the table here so that is all that I have to show you guys uh, most likely what's today today's Tuesday will I buy anything I probably won't buy anything until Friday when the set actually officially releases like at Walmart and whatnot. And I'll probably go back to, you know, buying the one booster pack and then opening it up for you guys and showing you really quick, you know, in a short little video. Um, so I'll probably upload something this weekend. Uh, this will probably be uploaded, I want to say sometime later tonight. So Tuesday night, uh, tomorrow uh, morning, maybe Wednesday. We'll see. Uh, depends on how my schedule goes, but thank you guys for sticking around and for well watching this long It's like 45 minutes now at this point 44, but it's about to end in 40 in another minute uh, Pulled some pretty good cards and I'm actually gonna get to work on a set list for my guard chomp deck It's exactly how I want to build that and then if I have all the cards I'll actually you know what I'll practice doing a a deck profile and, and upload it here on my channel and see what you guys think so Anyway, have a good night, guys, and I will see you in the next video.